Oh, I, I remember why I was showing you guys this off. Um, in true Chris Chan fashion, I was actually kicked out of uh, the, the hobby store where I used to play Pokemon cards. And there's a story behind that. I would like to share that story with, with, uh, with you all. And uh, the reason for that is not because I had an autistic meltdown or I freaked out or I started reeing or whatever it was. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't that. What happened is that I've been I played there for weeks and goofed off and stuff like that. And I never never won a tournament, but the one time I was doing good, I made it to the finals of the tournament. And basically, if you won, this was back when Pokemon was a was a big thing and people. This was the only hobby store where I lived, so they were raking in shitloads of money, so they could afford to do things like give out booster boxes. If you won like the big tournaments and like stuff like that, those of y'all don't know what a booster box is, it's like a couple hundred goddamn cards. It's just all it's a booster box is a box of booster packs sealed. That's fucking cool. I always wanted one of those. I was very I was this, I was at the final round and I was about to kick this kid's ass within the next like two turns. But what happened is that at the time my deck was using Japanese cards. Um, and you gotta, you gotta realize this was back in like 98, 99, so the cards I had in my deck were like, uh, the Gym Leader series cards, so Brock's Geodude, Giovanni's fucking Persian or whatever, those cards, you know what I mean? The ones that has like the trainer name and then the Pokemon name. So my deck had a, uh, had a Misty's Psyduck in it, and it had an attack for... I think a water and a psychic energy that was like a uh, uh, confused ray or something. It did 30 damage, and you flipped a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. And that's what was written in Japanese. So these, these cards were not released in America yet. So I had gotten my hands on them, and admittedly, that was kind of a dick move. I, I'm not going to say it was cheating because they are real cards. It's not like I was just printing fake shit out. And passing it off, but I had translations for all my cards in a little a little binder I'd printed off. I printed the pages out from the library, the local fucking library, for ten cents a page, and that was fine. And the only person who complained was this fat son of a bitch who was about to lose. And I could this motherfucker, I swear to God, he was he he, he would have cried if I beat him. And he flagged down the trainer the person who's in charge of giving out the stamps or whatever, and complained and said that I, I was cheating because I was using Japanese cards, which was not a problem, and other people did that. And the owner or whatever basically came in, and they like, they like escalated all, all the way up to the fucking store owner, and they decided to disqualify me because my translations were not official Nintendo translations. So this, I beat like five or six people that day, and this dumb motherfucker waited until he was guaranteed he was going to lose. And then he was like, Ugh! So what ended up happening is that I got pissed off. And I, I believe I said something along... I, I insulted the kid because he was fat. And then I said, this is fucking stupid. Or I said, it's fucking retarded. I dropped the F-bomb in the store. And they were like, get out. That's it. We can't have... That's it. We can't have you here. So that's that's how I got kicked out of uh, the, the, the Pokemon hobby store. Some dumb piece of shit is probably the only accomplishment in that sad fuck's life. <laughs> it was like, it's my booster box. You can't have it. So, I'm talking about it now. Like, I'm clearly I'm playing it up. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Twenty years later, I'm a, I'm a goddamn adult. I can and have bought my own booster boxes with my own real, real American adult dollars, but. At the time when you're, what was this, 98, 99? I was like 11 or 12 years old when this happened. When you're 11 or 12 years old and some dumb shit like that falls into your lap, you're like, uh-uh, this is fucking dumb. And I, I, I let them know how quote-unquote fucking dumb that was. I never got to fill out the rest of these stamped things on the back, and that's... <laughs> Sheba, this shit's fucking gay. <laughs> that's pretty much, pretty much. But that's uh, 
But that's the story how I got kicked out. That's my Chris Chan story of how I got kicked out. There was no in, in in my history. There was no oh boy slam attack thirty damage. There was there was none of that. It was just me winning. That's I came as I came here to win. I came here to get all the cards. I came here with the best deck, a tremendous deck. But <laughs> Emporio, they they couldn't consistently run things. Yeah, that's the thing is that I use Japanese cards in the past, so it was not a new thing. Other people were using Japanese cards. They didn't win, but they still had them in their deck. And they didn't care. And uh, I think the reason why... And this is... This is going to sound awfully petty of me, but it's probably true. And the reason why they kicked me out... Or the reason why... Not kicked me out. The reason why they disqualified me and not the fat kid is because uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of money at the store. But that chubby kid was opening booster packs all the time. I don't even remember his name, but I remember him like he was he he was the Christian of that store, I guess. He would sit at his little table and he would have all this shit set up and he would just be he would always be opening booster packs and bragging about all of his rare shit that he got in there. And I, I don't think I ever saw him open up booster boxes, but basically <laughs> he was pay to win. He wasn't pay to win because his ass was losing. But his parents were probably pretty well off, and they were dropping lots of money at that store, and they were using it as like a makeshift daycare center so they could drop their little shit off at the... It all makes sense now that I'm in my 30s, right? I, I see this, I'm like, oh, that's what, that's what was going on. But it's... Uh... <laughs> so his parents were spending a lot of money there, and they would have an, an incentive to keep the easily agitated... Uh, chubby kid complacent because if he gets pissed off and storms out, well suddenly mommy and daddy are not going to be buying two booster boxes at a time for their little spoiled brat, so that's Emporio, why would you not buy singles? Because it's addictive, man. You open that booster box, you see what the rare card is? Hey, here's, here's a question, here's a question. Those of y'all that can remember this and were into the Pokemon trading card game back in the day, what was the first rare you ever got? Out of a booster pack. Because that was kind of an important moment for me. Finally getting the cards. So what was the first rare? Mine was Alakazam from the original base set. <clears throat> Voice crack. <laughs> so I'd be interested to know what uh, what uh, y'all's were. And if you're watching the... I actually, I, I do... I guess I should interact more with, with people on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube... Please leave a comment. Below. What, 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 was, your, what was your first rare? Hashtag my first rare. Hashtag Pokemon trading card game. Hashtag Draco. It's you've been talking for fifteen minutes. Can we just play the goddamn game now? <laughs> so let's hop over to let's hop over to the Gator Gator Box Classic. Vandermon, you got a Dragonair. I love Dragon. I don't like Dragonite. Dragonite looks like he has fetal alcohol syndrome, but I really like Dratini and Dragonair. That's where it that's where it stops for me. <laughs> a sheep. The first ray you got was Charizard. Get the fuck out of here. You open it up, you basically won. You basically just skip straight to the end. Come on, man. That's like getting the goddamn Neapolitan ice cream sandwich card in Candyland. You just go, whoop, I'm already, I'm five squares away from the win, what, uh, from the end, what you can do about it, fuck you. 